Asia, it's Mimi's story time again. Oh, I'm so excited. I have Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion and Margaret Boy Graham. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. You ready for story time? I'm ready for story time. Here we go. Harry the Dirty Dog. Let's see what he does. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Look at him running downstairs with the brush. What's he going with that? He buried it in the backyard. Oh, he's a naughty little puppy. Then he ran away from home. Oh no, he's going down the street. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. See him in the dirt? Oh my goodness. Oh, what a mess. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Oh my goodness, where is he? Do you see him? Where'd he go? Oh, I see him. Do you see him? He's all the way up here. Look how filthy he got. Oh my goodness. <gasps> he played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Do you see? See all the other dogs? Where'd he go? There he is. He's right here. Oh my goodness. He's almost all black. <gasps> he slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Do you see him on the chute? He's right there. Oh my goodness, how dirty he is. See up close? Let me bring him in. <gasps> wow, he's all black with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Do you see him? He's right there. Huh! They don't even recognize him. He's so dirty. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show him he was Harry. He started to do his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, then he flop-flipped, he rolled over, and he played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. But it is. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole barking short happy barks. <gasps> what did he find? Do you remember what he buried in the beginning of the story? A scrub brush. He had found the scrubbing brush and carried it in his mouth and ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. He, the trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, Why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they started shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. 
It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home after dinner. Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. See the brush right there? There's the brush. Ah, what a silly puppy. Oh, that was a good story, don't you think? Do you get dirty sometimes? I bet you do, and that's when you get a bath. Next time you get a bath, think about Harry, the dirty dog. Bye-bye for now.